You ready? Yeah. That's my close up. Your close up is that one to the left. All right, cool. Ugly ass nigga. I'm the best looking nigga you know. You wish you had these jeans. <sighs> Your jeans, nigga. You wear a size 28 by, <laughs> 28 by 24. <laughs> what to do, everybody? And thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broadcast. I am your host, Day Day. And today we have a very special episode. I mean, this is an honor, y'all. Uh, long overdue, but better late than never. Because today I'm joined by my brother. I mean, a thorough ass dude, 10 years plus. I knew this dude, man, just A1 all the way from day one. I cannot say any more about him. He's a he's an entrepreneur, a, a musical artist, a father, you know what I'm saying? A, a straight up go-getter. And I can attest to that because we done, we done got after some shit back in the day <laughs> that we're going to get to. But nonetheless, y'all, I'm joined by my brother, Markel, a.k.a. The Real Markel. What it do, bro? What it do, my boy? What's up with you, man? Shit, man, living, bro. That's what I like to you hear. Know what I mean? Living. We we live in Philly, which is like your second home at this point. Been out this motherfucking nine years, bro. It's been nine years already. Nine years, dog. Swear. To be more specific, I moved out here July fifteenth, two thousand thirteen. That is crazy. Yeah, I remember July when you 15th. came out here. I'm like, well, I right, shit. I'm an Eagles fan, so that just gives yeah. me more reason to visit. Don't don't forget, nigga. Like, you know, niggas don't hit the road, bro. We ain't only been in Philly and Maryland. You know of what I'm course. Saying? Of course. That's why I say you go get it. We're missing one of the three Dead Zeppelin <laughs> members. Um Shout quick, out. Shout out Daryl. Yeah, wild ass nigga. Quick backstory. All three of us were in Vegas. Him and the other one, they met for the first time. We was all in Vegas. <laughs> and to say the least, <laughs> that's all we can say. What happens in Vegas? We can't even say that we can't even speak Yo. too much on that trip. But nah. I think y'all gets the gist of it. Um, but that's where Dead Zeppelin was formed. Right, um, <laughs> but then we we've made you know many trips beyond that that we're gonna get to and whatnot. But um, like I said, we're recording live from Philly, musical artist. You've been doing your thing, uh, newly father. You know what I'm saying within the past year. Or so, but let's speak with the music as for now. Um, later on this afternoon, this tonight, you got a show coming up. Speak about just the feeling you get from performing live, right? And then on top of that, performing in a city that you're not necessarily naturally from. Because Philly has embraced you. Yo, I mean, man, one of the craziest feelings, bro, that I've ever felt in my life, bro, is like when you on stage, bro, and motherfuckers sing your song, bro. Mm. That is, we're going to play the clip of that. I'm going to send you that clip. All right, insert here. here. Yep, insert here. Like... Cause when 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 shit like that happens, bro, like you think back to where you was when you wrote it, mm -hmm. the recording process, what that session was like, the five hundred times you played that shit back to back to back to back to back, thinking about what you're gonna do with it, where you're gonna place it on the on the table, something like that, or is you gonna put it out, how you gonna do it, what you gonna do with it, you know what I'm saying? And then you remember when you put that shit out, you remember the feedback you got from that shit, you remember motherfuckers playing your shit. And then when it come, that shit come full circle, mm -hmm. when you standing on that stage and motherfuckers is, is, is rapping the words that you put that motherfucking work in to, to, to make that record, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, that shit, bro, oh my God. And like, over time, the more you perform, the more comfortable you get, you know what I'm saying? Of like, course. Dog, the comfortability on stage is... Yeah. I feel like I'm one with the stage, bro. Yeah. You know I, what I'm saying? I, I can relate that to this. Because yo, when I first started, you can ask our producer, uh, Juzzy, formerly known as um, Sauce Boy, when I first started, <laughs> you can ask him, I used to get fucking wasted yeah. because I wasn't comfortable with this shit. Now I could do this shit sober, I could do this shit high, drunk, the yeah. shit with Lex Luger, I was high <laughs> and drunk. But just you tapping into that, that just everything that comes back, the nostalgia of yeah. the process that went through your song yeah. when you're performing. Let me ask you, give me one song that just brings that moment out more than any other. Oh man, the one, mm -hmm. the one that really, that really goes deep into it. Pause. <laughs> oh man, won't go. Won't won't go was like one of the first ones. Like when I was at um SOBs in New York, mm. I had performed that song, and just like yo, I never forget, bro. First of all, that was that was one of my that was my second time ever having people on stage with me. You know what I'm saying mm. like, and that 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 itself. Gives you crowd control, you know what I'm saying? Especially right. when niggas is hype, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas is so like because people got no choice but to feed into that. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So like, 
And when the DJ stopped that joint and everybody screaming, fuck them niggas, fuck them niggas. Mm. That shit, bro. Yeah, nigga, because I, I remember, bro, I was in a crazy place when I when I wrote that joint. Like my last project, I didn't I didn't write it. I freestyled most of it. You know what mm. I'm saying? Is that the one you said you was in a crazy place? Yeah. Where was you at? Oh, um, I mean, just mentally. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like it was, it was, I knew a lot of things was about to happen. You know what I'm saying? And I knew things. I was still dealing with things that did happen. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't like, bro, some days where I'd be thinking like, man, I ain't never going to be able to make another song again. Mm. And then boom, I make some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, What what led you to thinking that? Was I mean, you got to, you got to, like every, like when you're making music, bro, you got to stay consistently different. You know what I'm saying? Like, but still within yourself. Is that different to... Um, cater to the audience or different for you to Both. stay on track? Both. Okay. For you to feel like you're improving. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For for you to know your your fan base is growing. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to put out two of the same thing. You don't want to be caught up thinking too much about your sound and you know what I'm saying? So like when you go, you just got you just gotta go. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and won't go like man, that that drum was crazy. Yeah. That drum was yeah, I shot that video where I grew up at and shit, man. My mm-hmm. mom's was out there, mm-hmm. stepsister, my pops, his girl, you know what I'm saying? The whole block was out there, John. Like, yeah. yeah, we was out there. That was a that was a that was a real deep jump. Yeah, yeah. That's what, and it seems like with with artists, right? You always ask them what's that song what's that song that really hits home to yeah. them? And they never choose that banger per yeah. se. Right, they never choose that club banger. They never choose the joint that people nah. always requesting on the radio. It's always that one that's um, figuratively kind of dark. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because they wrote it when they was in a dark place and they remember how <laughs> having to climb out of that hole. And for them to be at the top of the mountain, looking at the bottom when yeah. they made that song, that's what sticks out to them most. Friggin' the song I wrote for my grandmother, bro. I was mm. it was it was five o'clock in the morning, bro. I, yeah. was, I was coming down off a of high. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, couldn't sleep, you know what I mean? I just end up cutting the beat on, and that joint spoke to me, bro. Yeah. I'm talking about five o'clock in the morning. My son was born probably like two weeks later. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, just in a different place, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But that's one of the best songs I ever wrote. Yeah. Hands yeah. Down. Hands that's what's down. up, man. Um, R.I.P. to Grandma, for real. Long live the queen. Off top. Long live the queen. Um, and then you said right after that, your son was born. Yeah. Which was your firstborn? Yeah. So you, you don't officially you the first one out of the uh, out of that yeah, Zeppelin. Yeah, that's Honestly, me. that's surprising. I thought, Dar- <laughs> thought I thought it would be Daryl freak ass. Yeah, but... I, I definitely thought it'd be Daryl. Right. Um. That so John, that John Havin, man. Yo, the day before my son was born, I got hit by a car. Mm. Like on my motorcycle, yo. Like I was. Was man. that the video? Yeah. That shit looked crazy. Let me let me start by saying this, right? He got hit by a motorcycle. Insert and, clip here. Yeah, and I can't go into crazy detail about some shit that me and this dude used to fucking do and got away with. Hindsight, looking back at it, I don't know how we're not locked in Alcatraz somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> but let me tell no, you, no cap, no cap. I was I'm always a very uh, observant and detailed person. Whenever I did, let's uh-huh. just say, not so ethical things, right? In the in the past life, right in the past life, in the past life, we're 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 new and improved. Yep. But I say that to say, whenever I made moves, more times than not, I would do it by myself because I know how I move. I knew mm-hmm. my exit strategy. I knew how I would react in certain situations. Mm-hmm. I knew I could count on myself. Besides myself, there was only <laughs> two people I could do moves like that with. <laughs> The first one, God rest his soul, my bro Kendall. Long live Kendall. You know what I'm saying? Who was actually the getaway driver. He was the getaway driver. <laughs> Yo, he is, he is Yo. up top dying laughing right now. Yo, he skirt. The second one was this dude, Marquette. <laughs> I always called him the luckiest person I knew. Hey. And I, I don't I don't know. I don't I, I don't know. But it's, it's crazy, bro, cause cause like same, bro. I wasn't. I wasn't like. I would. I wouldn't move with nobody, bro. Mm-hmm. Cause even even when we wasn't doing stuff, mm-hmm. I was still mm-hmm. you know, weekly, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yo, bro. I, I just yeah. Yeah, Damn, yeah, yeah right. bro. I'm about, to, I'm about yeah. to do another one. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, bro. Right, right down the street. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like then, you know, being being hit by a car and all of that. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, goddamn. So you get hit by a motorcycle the day before your son was born. The day before my son was born. I gotta ask you because being hit by a car on a motorcycle, no matter how minor you may think it is, 
that is like a near death experience no matter what that's what your yeah. mind is going to instantly think right so i gotta ask you this is a deep question the second that car hit you and you realized what the fuck was going on you realized that the car was hitting you what went through your mind like when the, when the car started getting close all i could think about was like my grandmother at first because mm -hmm. um i never i got this chain with my grandmother on it and i had never wore it before when i was riding mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so I was coming back from Jersey, but something told me like, yo, put that joint on, bro. Mm -hmm. Put put my mouth on today, you know what I'm saying? And and like, I never, never wore that joint when I was riding before, bro, never, bro. That day I put it on, bro, I'm gonna, like me and my man King, bro, we're going crazy on the New Jersey Turnpike. Vroom, 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 moving. How and many we, CCs you got? A, a thousand, bro. Oh, you had a stack? Yeah, bro. You had a stack of roux? Yeah, bro, <laughs> we, yeah, stack, bro. Bro, bro, we, we on the Turnpike, bro, like, 160, 150, just moving, vroom, vroom. Mm -hmm. Hit the PA Turnpike, because the New Jersey Turnpike take you to the PA Turnpike, right? Mm -hmm. Right. We, we go, we, we're going back to his crib. I'm vroom, 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 moving, bro. Like, mm -hmm. we sticking and moving, like, we get it in, right? Yeah. So we get we get to Norristown, right? And that's that's where he lives. So we get to Norristown, and we get to a light we at. Wawa's on our left. Mm -hmm. I like stopping at Wawa when I'm on my bike. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't, you can't sit and drink. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like you... Plus, Wawa the spot. Right. You Wawa is like the Northeast Coast version. I live in North Carolina. <laughs> Wawa is like the Northeast version of Waffle House or Cookout. Yeah. Cookout. Yeah. How, we, how, how in North Carolina we got Cookout? Yeah. Sheets. Yeah. Y'all got Sheets yeah. and Wawa. Yeah. Yeah. Freaking at Royal Farms out here, too. Mm -hmm. Freaking. He like, nah, bro, let's just keep going, bro. My crib down the street. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, bro, whatever, bro. I say like four lights. So we're passing cars now, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm about to catch up to him, right? So dude cut his blinker on at the last second, bro, right? Fucking dickhead. About to turn left. Mm -hmm. and all I see is this motherfucker like just coming through. And I can't, it's too close to stop, bro. Like, like yeah. if I stop, I could just throw myself over right, him. Like, right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. Ain't no telling if he's going to step on the gas. If right, like, right. But yeah, my grandmother went through my head, right? Mm. I'm like, shit. Then, motherfucker hit me, right? Boom! Hit me right on the side. I don't know how, bro, but like, something like, Kept my my body up, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. All I did was slide and just stand yeah. up. And you got bro. right back <laughs> I up. I stood up, bro. It was crazy. I stood up, bro. You know what I'm saying, like, and and I ain't even like, I wasn't I wasn't hurt, like, you know what I'm saying. What do you mean, physically or yeah, nah, no injuries, bro. <laughs> that is crazy. No injuries, bro. So as you're walking away, as you slide and stand back up, and you realize what happened, post, you know what I'm saying, post effect, what happened then? Like, what went through your mind? I'm like, damn, I just got hit by a car. Mm. I go over to my bike. I had just paid 132 the day before for my fluids and my oil, right? Mm. So I got a full tank of oil. It's oil leaking all down the street, right? So I'm trying, I'm trying to pick my bike up, do it all in my face or whatever. I'm like, bro, back up, bro. You just hit me with a car, dog. Mm -hmm. Like, he's right. like, man, man, my car, bro. I'm like, call the Your police, car. bro. Your car. Yeah, I'm telling him, I'm like, yo, call the police, I'm gonna bro. I'm gonna spit on his car. Yeah, like my car. Yeah, talking about. He just got it the day before, or whatever, right? Give a fuck. So I'm like, yo, call the police, bro. Right. So as I'm picking my bike up, I got my bike sitting up. My boy, he he already home, bro. Luckily, somebody that that knew me was in a car behind mm -hmm. and was able to call him, like, yo, your man just got hit, bro. Mm. So he already had the crib, bro. Like right. by the time I, by the time I picked my bike up, he had the crib, bro. That's how close we was, bro. Okay. Right. So he come back around like within like a minute. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then he ended up taking my bike. That joint still was still running and everything, mm -hmm. bro. He ended up taking my bike back to his crib. But before he did that, the police showed up. She like, yo, you need an ambulance? Mm -hmm. I was like, nah. She like, you need medical? I was like, nah. She was like, all right then, call us if you need us. And dip, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she dip. But I don't think she seen the car that hit me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he already left by then? Nah, he went to go park down the street to get out the middle of the street. Oh, uh, you know okay. Saying? Yeah. But that that's that's done and over with. You yeah. know what I'm saying? My son was born the next day at 5.03 p.m., right? Mm -hmm. And 5.03 is my birthday, bro, May 3rd. That's crazy. Because yeah. isn't it um, some type of instance or scenario with your grandfather and a brother or uncle of yours and something to do with motorcycle and day born or oh, something yeah, like that? Oh, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So, so my cousin died on a motorcycle on my grandfather's birthday, mm -hmm. right? August 27th, 2010. 
And at my cousin's service, I sat next to my grandfather. Mm. And then six months later, February 26th, my grandfather died. Mm. Yeah, that's just crazy. Well, let me say this. Um, not, only on the, not only on the, uh, the coincidence of the unfortunate motorcycle incident with your cousin and then you, of course, just in general, because we personally know multiple people who had yeah. unfortunate, you know, um, devastating, you know, accidents on motorcycles. Yeah. Life changing, if not lethal. Yeah. You know what I mean? So let me just say that for real, that you are here really truly is a blessing because- That was my second accident, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> and it, I, I love, you know me, I, yeah. I've rode dirt bikes since, I don't know when, I've yeah. always loved dirt bikes, but I had to step away from them solely for the purpose of, for one, I don't trust other people. Nah, that's the worst part. And for two, I don't trust myself because I know I'm a wild out and want a wheelie yeah. and that shit at 12 o'clock that bitch. So. It, it make you like 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 look at it different because how I'm going to let somebody explain to my son, your, your father chose to get on the motorcycle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you're like, done riding. Pause. Oh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, bro. I know I might like- Some slight. Just, just take it easy. But you ain't hitting a buck like, 50 on a Jersey not turnpike. Nah. Um, nah. Yeah. And, and the thing is, the reason why so many people I think like crash out on it today is because it's a lot of people who have no experience on any type of motorcycle, yeah. dirt bike, four wheeler, and they get a motorcycle when they're 21. That's their first thing. And they, they, get just, a, they get a stack. They get a thousand, bro. And they go straight know. to a stack. Yeah, and next bro. You're going to you die on that bike. You yeah. Get a stack, bro. Yeah. Unfortunately, we know too many people who did die yeah. or, you know, had crazy accidents on the bike. So, you know. I started with me at 600. You know what I mean? Easy. Yamaha R6. Yeah, easy. So it's a blessing that you're here. But you said, okay, boom. So after the accident, your son is born the next day, right? Next day, bro. The very next day, your son is born. So after you see your twin, <laughs> let me say this. Let me say this. Yo, that is like, you don't even have to take a DNA test, and that's 99.9% your that's child. What, that's what everybody say. Insert clip here. It is literally, <laughs> literally a light-skinned version yeah, of you. Yeah, bro. He look, he look just like me, dog. Let me ask you this, because this is something I always have a debate about, specifically with women, mm -hmm. and they you know get offended by it. But as men, we typically go with it. Say your son didn't look like you, right? Yeah. Would you get the DNA test? <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. And and it shouldn't be like it shouldn't like be a, a big deal. It shouldn't be a problem. Because you know what, what women is guaranteed. Because I've seen I've seen stories. I know people that have been taking care of children that ain't theirs because they believe that too scared to get a DNA test. You know what I'm saying? There's some people I still know that that that's scared to get a DNA test. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I, I don't guess. see. I I couldn't. I'm a, I'm gonna get that test. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's nothing personal. Again, it's not personal you with the saying? women. It is a hundred percent your child. It is coming out of you. It's not coming out of us. If the right. other way was around, and for some weird way, like seahorses, we produce children. I wouldn't be offended if a woman. <laughs> actually, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, no. Nah, and hey, then, like you said, there's so many. Proof. There's so many scenarios now, bro. So it's, it's many. Scary. That's, That's real scary. Could you? Bro. I mean, it's scenarios. You know what I'm saying? Ten. A dude finds out his ten year old ain't his. Yeah, bro. I'm talking about fifteen year olds, eighteen year olds to help twenty year olds, bro. It was a story of I forgot how old the child was. He was definitely over the age of like ten or twelve. Found out the kid wasn't his. The dude was so hurt he had a heart attack and died. Oh my god, that shit is wicked, bro. Hey, what Kanye saying? On his eighteenth birthday, he found, found out, out it wasn't, wasn't his. his. <laughs> that shit is real, bro. People I know, bro. Yeah, man. So I think just you know, it's certain, it's certain things as far as the legal system in that particular field that um I think women, you know what I'm saying, can I think they should ease up on. Yeah. But it's in their advantage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They could take At it. all times, bro. Yeah. At all times, bro. Yeah. So okay, boom. So your son is your son is born. Okay, so that your son is born. He's into this world. You're looking down at a literally a <laughs> baby version of you. Yeah. What goes through your head and what, you know what I'm saying, transpired after that? I mean it's 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 all I wanted, you know what I'm saying, with the be a father, bro. It's mm. like one of the best things that ever, if not the best thing that ever happened to me. Mm. You know what I mean? I, you know, I take care of my son, bro. You know what I mean? I got, I go hard for mine, bro. I do the, the do the whole nine yards. You know what I mean? I'm hands on, like changing diapers. I'm, I'm doing all of that. You know what I mean? No days off, bro. Yeah. No days off. Yeah. And and I, and I see it. I mean, like even so, you. Let's call it what it is. Even not your son, even your stepson as well. You call him and treat him as he is your son. That's my son, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? I built him too. too. He eight now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, bro. I just I just love being a father, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I love watching somebody grow. You know what I mean? Like, 
Especially an innocent kid, bro. It's like that has so much to soak up, but nobody yeah. to teach it to oh him. Oh my god, bro! It's beautiful, bro. They learn so much, like yeah, fast, my dude. Like and they literally. I blinked. He's, you know, what I'm saying my oldest is reading. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like he know how to play his little Xbox, bro. He do. You know what I mean? Like I blinked, bro, and then the baby running. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I blinked. Yeah. He gonna be talking soon, bro. Mm -hmm. He gonna be saying no and all of that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like he gonna be. He gonna be, he gonna be a problem though. <laughs> that, little, that little boy got my DNA, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that little boy got my DNA, bro. Part of me scared, bro. I'm like, yo. Bro, he's your twin, he's light skinned and he got curly hair. Listen, bro, if he's anything like me, bro. <laughs> it's a wrap. But on, on the real, man, I do wanna say this. I, I'm not sure if I texted this to you one day, but one day, you know, I barely smoke. Yeah. But when I do, I just, <laughs> I think really deep. Um, one day I was high and I looked at the Markel Boys Instagram, yeah. which is your Instagram just showcasing just you being a father and both of your son's lives. Yeah. And I was just looking at it and I don't know if I texted it to you. I probably got high and forgot. But yeah. I was like, yo, I really got to let Kel know like the shit you doing is so fucking impactful yeah. in two areas. One, for both of these two little boys, because they have a role model that most young men, I mean, most black men in America don't, don't grow have, up with, yeah. unfortunately, but I mean, it is what it is, which most of have. And in a second area is, uh, in, a, in a way, being an example yeah. for moms and fathers out here, for moms showing, okay, listen, your son, whether the father in the house is his blood father or not, or if you have one that is, one that isn't, whatever, just having that positive figure is so vital yeah. for a black man coming up in America. So important, 100%. right? So that's I. I really want to be like, yo, the shit that you're doing really is like, I mean, like you even put a pause on your music, yeah. like to make sure that these two was taken care of. You hear about so many, you know, kids of music artists who grow up resenting um, their parents or their mom or dad because they was on the road making music or they yeah. was constantly gone. Um, quick story. Uh, when I lived in New York, a friend of mine knew Ghostface Killer Son, uh -huh. and he said how Ghostface Killer Son hated Ghost because he was just always on the road. He was never there. He even made a diss track towards Ghost. Oh but, my God! So the fact that you put your music on pause, you really stood ten toes on making sure that these two young black men came up with a positive father figure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Showing the mad love and support. I just wanted to let you know that that's major. Appreciate that, bro. Seriously, that's, I don't know if I ever gave you the flowers for that. I probably got high and forgot or anyone else, <laughs> anyone else did or didn't, but that's fucking big. Appreciate it that, It really bro. is. Cause you know what I'm saying? Me personally speaking as someone who, my grandparents had to raise me, my, my father wasn't in my life, yeah. but you know, I, I don't, I'm not tripping. I mean, shit, it, you, you know what I've gone through with. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, it forced us to jump off the porch. Facts. And grow up. You know what I mean? Like, Dive head first off the porch and, yeah. and learn it the hard way. But looking back at it now, hindsight, that was a great uh, teacher. Yeah. But also with that being said, just to have that father figure role model to begin with, it can save you some hardship. It could have, it you know what I'm saying? Things could have been different. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. something could have, yeah. you feel me? But like... And we're defeating this, and you're defeating a stereotype. Yeah. So just in general, that's 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 fucking huge. Man. Also, you know, being an older brother and shit, you gotta grow up quick. Mm. You know what I mean? Like you you already in a in a uh a nurturing position, you yeah. know what I'm saying? A yeah. Nurturing and protect protecting position. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, of course, you when when yours really come, you know what I mean? Like the one you're responsible for. Right. What else can you do? Yeah. You know what I mean? And you're the oldest out of all your siblings, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. you really like you really had to from the rip. Yeah. 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 That shit crazy. I'm the um I'm the middle. I'm the second oldest. Um, but still I learned a great amount from yeah. my older brother. But then it was my responsibility to teach it to my younger brothers, yeah. younger sisters on both yeah, sides man. of the family and whatnot. I'll be on the phone with my little brothers now, man. You know. They might call me for some advice or I don't know what to do in this dot, dot, dot. You know what I mean? Like, listen, this is what it is. Mm -hmm. Tell me, did this happen? All right, don't even worry about it. Mm -hmm. Walk it off, bro. That's temporary. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And because we've been through it. Now, let me ask you this. As an older brother, are you the type that you and your son, you can use this for your younger siblings and your children. Are you the type that they're coming across a certain scenario that you've been in in your pre in your, you know, in your past? And you know how it's going to turn out. Are you going to be the type to tell them, do, don't do do this because I did it like that. Do it this way and completely avoid it. Or are you going to be the type that's like, you know what? I can tell you to do this. I'll give you this advice. But 
if you go ahead about it and learn it about your own, I'm not tripping. A little bit of both. Mm. Definitely a little bit of both because, you know, you call me with a situation. And I know how it's played out before. I'm going to tell you, like, yo, nah, don't do that. Mm. I can't stop you, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I know, I know that, like, it's going to be the same type of shit it was with me where you grow up, you look back, and then you thank the motherfuckers that told you that shit. Mm-hmm. Even though you made the mistake, you look back, yeah, I just want to thank you for it. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You, you looked out. I didn't listen then, but yeah. I'm listening now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got to, yo. Like, you can't, you can't. You can't make decisions for them, but you could definitely help them make decisions. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You yeah. can't you can't always everybody ain't always gonna make the right decision. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Everybody right. going everybody has to learn their own mistake. Yeah. You can lead them to the water. Can't make a, them drink though. Give them a cup. If All they right. don't drink, it's no trip because you didn't drink. Can't make them drink. You know what I <laughs> mean? At that scenario in the past, you didn't drink, so you can't trip, but you're like, well, I'll try to tell you. I knew I was gonna turn out and it turned out how it turned out. Right. Um, yeah, that's what it is, man. That's what it is. Good conversations, man. Yeah. Like I said before, we recording live from Philly. Hell, we out this joint. Yeah. And I got to let y'all know firsthand, he's here. He's been, let me tell you something. <laughs> this, dude, this dude right here, since the, I say since week three, since the whole world knew, you see what I'm wearing, since the whole world knew that the Philadelphia Eagles were nice, I say after we spanked Minnesota, I think, oh no, after we spanked Dallas, that's when the world took notice the Philly was nice. No, y'all spanked Cooper Rush. That's not. And, and Cooper Rush beat Cooper the two Rush. teams that was in the Super Bowl last year. But listen, that's a rabbit hole that we're not going to go down. Yeah, that's I say, not. I say that to say. Because that shit can go two hours, nigga. Ever since then, this dude lives in Philly. <laughs> One of his best friends, me, is a Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles fan, but he is the biggest Eagles hater. Listen. And listen, I got to tell listen, this dude makes it his job <laughs> to go on Twitter every week hey, and talk crazy hey, about yo. the Eagles. Listen, I cannot wait till the night, bro. Today is November 27th, 2022. Yeah. Night game against Tonight the Packers. Tonight at 8.15 in Philadelphia, bum-ass Eagles. I will we'll be, be playing there. playing the Green Bay I will be MVP there. Roger Packers, And you I will be there. I'm a granted, be- he's been disappointing this year. I understand. Bro, it's not going to be close. But this is the fucking night. It's, this is it, bro. It's not going to be close, bro. We could, for the camera, nigga, we could bet. What the fuck you want to bet, It's nigga? not going to be close, bro. What I'm you want to bet, bro? Look, where my money at, nigga? Look, that put gas, it put it on the table, nigga. What you him. want back, nigga? That gas hit him. What you want? A hundred, nigga? You want bet a hundred, nigga? Boy, I'm a, I'm a post this. You, you want two hundred, nigga? How much you want back? I'm a post this with the this did not age well. <laughs> Cause we is about to get hey, in the Packers' ass. Hey. I'm gonna be drunk as a bitch. Listen, bro. That game gonna be fucking listen, lit. Bro. We listen. Y'all, y'all almost choked to the Colts. And listen, almost don't. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Almost don't kill in the NFL. Wait, wait. wait. Like the, I said, the Falcons, like I the said, Falcons I'm not almost trying to get beat that, the Patriots. I'm not trying to get that deep into it, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to hurt your feelings. Hey, y'all. Okay, so let me say this. Y'all hear, y'all hear him talking greasy, you too, right? You Mr. Producer. Y'all hear, at you. y'all hear him talking <laughs> crazy, right? Y'all hear him talking greasy, right? What are you talking, yo? Ask him where he was February 2018. <laughs> the night the Eagles won the Super Bowl. Go ahead, ask him where he was. They, I'll ask him for them. Markel, the real Markel. <laughs> where Listen, were you? This is where I was, bro. I was out in the street supporting a friend that came to the city that I lived in. That's it. Plank, it plank, it was your support. That hey, was I was supporting a friend. That is it. That's it. I wanted him to have a good time. What do I look like standing there? No, no, no. You ain't have to just stand there. You could have been turned up, but yo. I was turned up. Insert clip here. No, and we not inserting that clip. <laughs> it's one thing to be cool. You're going to be here from my lawyer. <laughs> it's one thing to be cool and supportive, my friend. My friend, you had your shirt off in, in 30 degree weather in the middle of the street saying, we out here. Who was we? Who was we? me and my best friend, Dave no, Vaughn. That's who we out there. No, 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 no. Me and my best no, friend. No, no. You were talking about Man. the nation. You Let me tell about you about nation. my best friend. You were talking about the nation. <laughs> no, man, I'm talking about us, bro. Hold up. Then we then we ended up running into my man's on Broad Street. Shout out Jared. You know what I'm saying? Is Ran that the dude with the white girl? Yeah. <laughs> Are they still together? <laughs> Hell no. Okay, good. Then I can talk about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, he cool with me too, but yo was definitely salty that his yeah. white girl was out the sunroof 100%. with your boy. I mean, hey, listen. 
<laughs> I, I ain't choose her. She chose me. But, but it was it, no. Nonetheless, it was a great time. That shit was off the bro. I was driving on the sidewalk. We was on the bro. sidewalk. Literally, dro we drove about what two blocks on the sidewalk. Bro, I don't even know how I decided to make that choice to drive on the side. Like I wasn't going slow. Yeah, no, I we was, was moving vroom, on I'm the out, sidewalk. I'm bro. out the sunroof. Uh, oh my god! Dirt bro. bikes was out. Girls was uh, twerking. Uh, girl flash. One yeah, girl flash. Shorty flash, bro. Shorty was in the street. Yo, it was listen. you. It was you haul trucks with people on top to, like, of it. We have to eventually post that. Entire, I still, bro. I still have that video. It's an you, eight minute. You think I don't? I, it's Come the on, eight bro. minute long I, video. I, I, I still I, have I got, it. I got it too, bro. I got yeah. everything. Nigga. Yeah, that was literally I got everything. That was the best night of my life. Listen, Markel, I had a threesome. <laughs> I had the I had the most lit threesome one could ask for. The Eagles winning the Super Bowl tops that. Yeah. I mean, what what you know what I mean? I mean, bro, I remember when my team won, bro. I cried. Mm. Yeah, I won, so did you experience the 2001 Ravens winning against the Giants? No. Nah. You wasn't you wasn't heavy into it then? I, I was, but I didn't understand. Okay. You know what I'm I remember I was, that. I was I was in basketball. I remember it. Yeah. But I was I was more in basketball. Okay. You know what I mean? So my whole family's Ravens fan except for me and Juzzy. I'm sorry to hear that. Nah, hey, listen. Mama Dukes, I'm so sorry, Ma. Nah. I don't know why he's like this. Shit, you, you I don't get it. They they low key converting back. Not converting, but I tried to save him, Ma. Shit back home. They got the Eagles flag out front too. They know what it is back home. It's all love. Listen, we all over. But I say that to say I remember when they won it against the Giants. I was like, okay, cool. That's what's up. My whole family is. But when y'all won it the second time, that was very... When the Ravens won the Super Bowl, was that 2012 or 2013? 2013. 2013. Shout out, shout out Joe Flacco. That was a very... That was meaningful because it shout was out. Ray Lewis and Ed Reed last ride in the Ravens. Yeah, um, bro. Uniform. I mean, we knew... Come on, bro. You think Ray Lewis going to go out without a ring? So let me ask you, was the lights out thing staged? Listen. The, uh, so me, my mom, me, my, me, my, my mom, mom was there. Let me ask the formal question. So let me ask you: the 2013 Super Bowl between the New Orleans Saints and the Baltimore Ravens, the lights going out. Was that San stage? Francisco 49ers? Okay, let me rewind it again. That's the goddamn Henny. <laughs> you know what it is. So let me ask you: the mm -hmm. 2013 Super Bowl between the Baltimore Ravens and the San Francisco 49ers. The Harbor Bowl. The Harbor Bowl. Ravens are blowing out the 49ers. All of a sudden, lights goes out. Was um, it staged? Nah, I don't think so because New Orleans does have a lot of power outages. Mm. Granted, there's never been a fucking power outage before that bitch. You know what I'm saying? But nah, I, I don't think it was safe. My mom was there, bro. How did she say it was? I ain't, we didn't even talk about the fucking lights out shit. No, I, I'm just saying the whole. I caught it's the whole crazy, bro. She been to like eight Super Bowls, bro. Really? She been to like eight Super Bowls. Seeing as how the Eagles are gonna go to this one, can she give me? <laughs> nah, she don't. She don't. She don't work in the for the NFL no more. I right, go ahead. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah. She did that like 13 years or something like that. Mm, that's lit. Yeah, she was like, uh, so when, when they won, I called her. I was crying, bro. Mom, we did it, mom. We did it. Ugly oh, ass. Yeah, mom, we did it. <laughs> I'm out there motherfucker crying, bro. Yeah. Like, I, I told her, grab some confetti for me. <laughs> that was coming down. Mm. But she she always, like, every year for the Super Bowl, she always brought back, like, mad shit. Like, mm. shirts, socks, yeah. coins, fucking books, all types of shit. Bro. Yeah. Like, all types of shit. That's what's up. Okay, so boom. So you're a Baltimore Ravens fan. You know the vibes. I bleed purple. So you lived in Baltimore. You know the vibes. You lived in Philly. Nine years. Not by choice. How long did you live in Baltimore? How many years? I want to say like nine. Nine. Okay, so boom. Split even. Nine. Hold on, wait. For the sake of discussion, let's First call First grade to 10th grade. Okay, we'll call it nine for the sake of discussions. Yeah, first so, grade to tenth grade. You lived in Baltimore nine years. You lived in Philly for nine years. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is <laughs> a segment of this or that, Baltimore <laughs> versus Philly. All right. So I got some comparisons. I got some comparisons for Baltimore and Philly. Uh -huh. Two cities that are very much alike. Yeah. You got to pick one or the other. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have a total of five questions, mm -hmm. which means one of them is going to win. Mm -hmm. Let's see which city has Markel's heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This or that. Let's get it, bro. Let's this get or that. It. Philly versus Baltimore. <clears throat> First and foremost, ooh, we're starting off hot. Mm. Philly cheesesteak or Baltimore crab cake? Crab cake, bro. Okay, one for Baltimore. 100% crab cake. One for Baltimore. Your favorite cheesesteak spot. This is off the script. Your favorite cheesesteak spot. <laughs> My favorite cheesesteak spot? I ain't gonna lie, that poppy spot you took me to a couple years ago was banging. 17th and Diamond, bro, the best cheesesteaks I had. But they they burnt down, bro. For real? Yeah, bro. Damn. Freaking uh um, Poppy too much Poppy put too much so grease on that bitch. He was putting too much grease on that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo. Fuck, and so I go to um 
this little poppy store uptown where I be at. Mm-hmm. That shit. We probably fucking gonna stop that bitch today. That's a bet. I think they closed like eight. You know what I mean? That's a bet. All right, number two. Who has the better bike life, Philly or Baltimore? Definitely Philly. Philly got Baltimore beak on the bike life? Yeah, Philly going stupid. Really? Philly goes stupid on You know Baltimore be deep. Bro, listen. The ride outs I done did, bro. Yeah. Yeah, down north, bro. Yeah. Down like Aramingo Ave and all of that, bro. Really? I, got, I got it on the gram, bro. We oh, can, yeah. We can insert clip here, too. Okay, bad. Bad John, bro. They be, I'm talking about like Banshees be out there, dirt bikes. I see motherfuckers Willie and Scooters, and they mm-hmm. be like, bro. Baltimore does all that. You know oh, yeah. I, I know they do for sure. But, but Philly got, Philly, okay. Because yeah. that's always been like. Broad Street, bro. Like, yeah, bro. Like, they, the police done created some whole shit to confiscate bikes, bro. They take, mm. they try to take niggas' bikes, bro. Yeah. yeah. Philly is. Yeah. Yeah, Philly, oh. Philly, Philly is awesome. Okay, so far, 1-1. One, one. Okay. I'm, and I'm going to be honest in this joint, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, I absolutely. Gonna, absolutely. I ain't going to be biased, you feel me? No love lost. Can't be. Nine years each. Okay, next. <laughs> you know, uh, we got the Park Hill strut. Mm-hmm. Dancing. Music and dancing. We could put, well, dance music and dancing, I should mm-hmm. say. Because Philly, does Philly does club? Does yeah. Philly do club? Okay. But so it's like, they, they like. It's different. Mm, yeah, it's definitely different. Yeah, every yeah. every okay. So, okay, I, got, so, I could tell you whatever you about to say is Baltimore, bro. So if, Baltimore has Philly, about the, so oh, club music, a hundred percent, bro. Okay, so let me let me not just club music. Everyone knows Baltimore has because that's where the club music originated from. Mm-hmm. Jersey, try, let me tell you something, Jersey. <laughs> when I lived in New York, when I lived in New York, all my Jersey homies tried to say Jersey came up with the club shit. Nah, no, nah, y'all remixed it from Baltimore. Let's get nah. that straight first and foremost. Baltimore, I grew up on that shit. Like when I was a young boy, niggas was doing that. First and mean? foremost, dance my pain away. I got problem. Dance my pain away. I hey, yo, got that, pro- that came like, on this morning a lot. Say, yeah, whoa, whoa, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. I'm gonna now dance listen to my story. Bill collectors on me. Come on, yeah. now. Jersey ain't fucking with Baltimore nah. when it comes to the club. Take Bro, K- that K- shit K- came Swift. on my shit this morning, bro. Ain't nobody fucking with K Swift. That shit came on my queen. shit this morning, bro. R.I.P. to the R.I.P. Yeah. to the queen. That shit. I, I remember when that shit happened. Okay, so dancing, Baltimore, Philly. Uh, Baltimore. Okay, two to one. Un, un, undeniable. Two to one. Yeah. All right, cool. Not up for discussion. All right, cool. Well, Not up for discussion. Two to one, Baltimore. Okay, so let's go style. <laughs> Listen, Philly niggas love designer clothes, bro. These niggas, bro, the nigga could be working at Walmart, but you catch him on Saturday, he got on designer everything, bro. Mm. Like, Baltimore can't dress neither, bro. I ain't going to hold you. Niggas still wear baggy clothes out that motherfucker, like... You know what not, I mean? Listen, not like the South. Man. Nah, the South, yeah, the South, yeah. I be in, I be like, in North Carolina and South Carolina looking like, what the fuck? I don't know, bro. The, Who got style? Baltimore or Philly? That one might be a trash for both of them. Okay, yeah. so we'll cancel that one out? Yeah, they're both them niggas trash, bro. Okay, two to one. I can't stand, like, bro, niggas be wearing them big ass rocket shoes, nigga. Like... <laughs> Just because it's Yo, j- just because the name bro, of America never them wear them type shit shit. is fucking trash, bro. Yeah, yeah. They look like oh my god, bro. Mm. They is and like that's all Philly niggas be wearing, bro. Mm. Philly niggas love designer clothes, bro. Like okay, that shit is trash to me, nigga. So I was gonna ask five, but the sake of that one being canceled out, we gotta come up with six. Professional, right off the top. Next <laughs> one. All right, we're gonna go with what's the next one? Who got that? Most pressure. Mm. Philly or Baltimore? I might have to get out to Philly, bro. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I might have to get out to Philly, bro. Some, it's some, it's some heat out here. Yeah. It's some heat out here, bro. Okay. Listen, if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. You, don't. you know, in Baltimore, everyone, got, everyone say they got that sour, but it be, yeah. it be, it be sweet. Don't be sour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Philly got some. Yeah, bro. Philly definitely got some pressure, bro. 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> I fucking Philly, love it. Okay, Philly tie. T- scores 2-2, two, two, tiebreaker, and I have the perfect one <laughs> to break the tie. Go Ravens. Philly or Baltimore. No, no, no. That's too easy. That's too easy. We sweeping, y'all. That's too easy. Let's get it. Philly or Baltimore for the tiebreaker. Who got the baddest biddies? Mm. Damn. In a song, Rick Ross said, one of my baddest bitches out in Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I 
might gotta get it to Philly too, bro. Philly got it. Yeah, Philly's the winner. Cause Philly, you got you got to remember, bro. Like motherfuckers be coming from Jersey. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like, cause y'all got Camden right there. Yeah, bro. Like like that's that's pretty much. You know what I mean? Like plus Philly has the uh, Philly has the Puerto Rican influence. Baltimore, you know, we don't really got. Bro, it's all over, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah it's, it's some some bad jobs. Okay, there. so we give it to that. Philly has it. There we go. Three to two. It was a tough one. It was a that was close a tough one. one. That was a tough one. You hit me with the with the shorties, John. Yeah, you yeah know that you was mean. a perfect way to end it, right? You know, I will say Ooh. this now. No, Philly, no comment. No comment. <laughs> now, if if I if I would have said, well, since we on the topic, let me ask you. Well, let me say this first. If I would have said DMV versus Philly. The whole, you have to say the DMV. Listen, <laughs> yeah, the DMV got some heat, bro. Listen, all my homies from like Jersey and New York, they be, I be like, yo, y'all got the Puerto Ricans out here. They be like, nigga, but y'all got the joints out yeah. there. I'm yeah, in I Philly. The... Wait, wait, I'm in Philly. But y'all got the Jones <laughs> out there, nigga. Yo, yo, you don't use John in your regular, like. But I had to for the sake of where we at. I know, but like, but like you don't use it, you say joint? Yeah, I say joint. That's crazy. I did, a, I did an episode with my homie Kev. He from Philly, he from West Philly. And I kept saying joint, joint, joint. He like, bro, you grown. Like, you, you drunk, keep, bro. You keep saying joint. Like, yeah. it's drunk. I'm like, nigga, drunk. fuck you. Yo, like, let me ask you a question. This ain't Fresh Prince. Go ahead. Do I talk like a Philly nigga? Absolutely. <laughs> you 100% picked it up. 100%. Jaden, remember earlier, I called him. He's like, what you doing, bull? <laughs> I'm like, bull? What the fuck is this? Bull. That's nigga. what he said, bro. He brought it up. I said, bull. I, I, I mean, I ain't say it, but in my head, I'm like, bull. <laughs> Nigga, the fuck <laughs> you, nigga. You definitely picked up the Philly lingo. <laughs> Let me ask you this: Since we ended that competition with Philly being on top, coming as to how they have the baddest biddies. Let me ask you, cause you're a oh shit, <laughs> you're a uh, you're a traveling man. Yeah, I travel. <laughs> I'm gonna just say that. Let me ask you, which region of the U.S. has a special place in your heart when it comes to the biddies? What's your favorite region of biddies? The real market. Oh man, my favorite region. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, I think everybody's beautiful. Mostly, for the most part, but yeah. But it's some ugly souls. I go for the soul. It's some ugly. I had to pick a, a soul, region. Yeah. yeah. For this sake. Mm -hmm. For the sake of this discussion, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say Atlanta region. Atlanta? Georgia, Florida. Everyone says Atlanta. <laughs> Everyone yeah. says Atlanta. It's, it's different out there, bro. I'm going to put this next to I did an interview with Hot Boy Shaq, who is an amazing artist out of Charlotte. Yeah. My dog, he made music with Boosie, Rich Homie. Like, he really that dude. Yeah. I asked him, what's your favorite reading? He said, boy, I ain't going to lie. I'm Atlanta. Who we different, boy. <laughs> you know them country Atlanta, boys. Yeah. yeah. Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, bro. So mine is a, is a bit of an unorthodox answer. And I always say this. Second for me is Cali, though. Second is Cali, the West yeah, Coast. Yeah. They do got a, them Cali joints got a different vibe. I like crazy. They got a different yeah, vibe to them whole for sure. Vibe, bro. For sure. And it's, whole and it, it's such vibe. an abundance of them out there. Me personally, and this is, I know this may be a weird answer or whatever, but <laughs> I have, yo, Kel, I have never had a bad time with a 757 chick. VA 757. Do VA? not sleep on the 757. Hey, listen, I know your I know your experiences with do you know what I'm not saying, sleep VA. on it. I'm, I'm literally Yo, so so for those that don't know, right? We share locations, right? And I'm one of them friends that I'm gonna check your shit and then I'm gonna hit you. Ask you, what the fuck is you doing out there? You know what I'm saying? It's been a few times I checked this nigga location. <laughs> <laughs> Virginia, Davon? Nah, you know what? You know what's a location I would actually send to y'all and be like, it was worth the trip. <laughs> it was worth the trip. I'm gonna just say this: I ain't gonna put no names out because she got a whole situation now. I ain't gonna put no yo. names out. You gonna know what I'm talking about too? Hey, yo, that's a fact, bro. That's a fact. You gonna bro. know what I'm talking about when I say this too? Listen, many times while living in Maryland, more specifically traveling from Lower Maryland, York, Pennsylvania. <laughs> That's about an hour and a half, hour 20 Yo. trip. York, Pennsylvania. <laughs> I've made that trip on multiple occasions. Yo. Like I said, she got her own situation. I can't really put her out there like that. But York, Pennsylvania. I already know, bro. Brumsky. I already know, bro. 
I wish. Oh my What's the furthest you would travel for some for some high quality cooch? Oh my god. Oh. Um, by car, what's the furthest you would travel by car, and would you catch a flight for some for some a one day one? Mm, probably not, bro. I'm gonna be honest, bro. Not catch a flight. So, what's the furthest you would travel? Furthest I would travel, like by real, car. Real, bro. Fuck a car. I'm on a bike with it. Okay. Would okay. So from Philly, would maybe you go- like four hours most. Four hours on the bike or four hours in general? And four make it, hours on the bike. Four hours on the bike for some. Yeah. You're spending the night and all that shit, though, yeah. right? Okay. And then and then you know what I'm saying somebody else got to ride with me out there. Two other people got you know what I mean go do their thing or whatever. That's not make, bad. Make sure we ride back. You know what I mean like together and shit. That's not bad. Four hours. Because then for real, for real, when you ride with other people, you're going you're gonna ride faster. Yeah, you're gonna, for you're sure. Ride faster. For sure. They're not, not catching bad. three of y'all, but yeah. one, one of you, they gonna yeah, they gonna, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they gonna yeah. try and catch you. And then look, that be the type of nigga call them. Yo, they got us. Come back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they got us. Come back, nigga. I'm gone. Fuck you, talking. About. Four hours ain't bad. Mm. I don't mind four hours. A four hour drive. People four be hours not people bad. be bluffing, bro. People yeah, be like, man, thirty bad. minutes at the most. Listen, for that A one Supremium. Niggas I mean, be, hold on, hold on, but hold, niggas on, be hold, bluffing, hold on, hold on, hold on, Not every joint is A1 Supreme. Absolutely not. I'm talking about that top 2%. Absolutely not. Hold on, let me just say this for the record. Mm-hmm. I, I do have somebody in my life. Let me just say that, bro. Nigga, this is all, for one, this is all previous. Of course. This is previous. But I, I'm not one to open, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You, you my boy. Yeah. And this Nigga, is, we ain't, we, I, this I just said, yeah, that was just something simple. This is, this this is, is hypothetical. This is this is hypothetical. This is, this is you know fucking I mean? hypothetical yeah, and allegedly. Yeah. This whole thing was, y'all may not have heard it, or maybe I was she too- a, She a shit good joint, so I got, you know what I mean? We're going to get to that. Maybe I was too lit to talk about it. What I said was, Markel, hypothetically speaking, let's say you were single. Uh, what's the farthest you would travel with some cool? That's what I asked. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I asked. Hey, listen, four, four hours on the bike. <laughs> That's what I asked. You may have misheard me. That's what I asked. But you got to remember, too, everything close to me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. New York is an hour and a half, hour mm-hmm. 40, you know what I'm saying? Maryland, two hours, mm-hmm. two and a half hours, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, like, this pressure both ways, you right. feel me? Of like, course. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? You can come across a good joint. New York, Jersey. That was hypothetically so speaking. So, that, that ain't even far for real, you know what I'm right. saying? No, that's that really ain't not. even far. Um. But okay, let's it's, talk. It's at least a good one in every two hundred miles. <laughs> yeah, at least a good one in every two hundred. Every two hundred. That's a fair. That's every a fair. Every two hundred yeah. miles, there's, the, there's that one you might come across. In two hundred you know miles, yeah, I, I can live with that. Two hundred miles, yeah, yeah. I, that's a fair. One. That's a fair one because yeah, it's ugly I mean. out here. It's ugly out here. So I can give you one in every two hundred miles. It's yeah, ugly one out in here. every two hundred. Okay, let's talk about it. It's ugly out here, but you found the light. Yeah. Right. You said you got a good. You got a good John. Yeah. <laughs> you got a good John right now. Um, so just how does that make you feel like as a man, just an entirety as a man, like finding a good John, <laughs> I feel weird saying that shit and this whole entirety now on the real, finding a good John just today when it's so ugly out here, like what does that do for you? How does that make you feel? Man, that shit motivates you, bro. Mm. Like, yeah, like, it's a feeling that like when it's genuine, bro, you feel me? It's unmatchable, dog. Mm. Boy, we ain't, we ain't got to talk about in the relationship. Yeah. No, that's cool, man. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, it, it, but see, the thing is, it doesn't even necessarily have to be a quote-unquote relationship with a nah. title and all that, but just have it but some... That, but that's my, that's my girl right yeah, there. Yeah, bro. My, yeah. Whether, that's my boo. Yeah, yeah whether, whether it's the step before relationship or relationship or marriage, just see, having something by your side that ride for you, that's big. She been there like no questions asked, you know what I'm saying? That's like, what it is. Like, I could call her right now for... You know what I mean? Whatever. You know what I mean? Like, we we talk on the phone. We chop it up. You feel me? We mm-hmm. do all types of shit. You know what I mean? That's like, what it is. We, you know what I mean? It's, it's lit, bro. That's it's what's lit. up, man. Yeah. Um, so before we get out of here, before we get ready to go to this game, watch these birds beat up on these Packers. Oh, my God. All that good shit. Um, Tonight, what you got going on? You got something special going on tonight. What's happening? Yeah, man. I'm hosting an event down at TLO Event Complex off of 16th and Cecil B. Moore. You know what I'm saying? They pay me to be the host. I show up, do what I gotta do, get get paid. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I, and um, that starts at eight. They do that joint like once a month, bro. It'd be like mad artists there. Uh, what's the boy name? The rap, uh, the rap, the rap, the rap, uh, rap battle. Enos. Okay. He came through a joint. There been a couple motherfuckers coming through them joints. Yeah. 
couple of Philly legends and shit. Yeah. So that so the hosting that's I mean that's similar to this right like just, yeah bro that shit funny shit bro yeah like, I could imagine you kind of like just gotta, freestyling up there right yeah that's but like you know you so comfortable around people and shit bro that should be yeah piece of cake bro like that's that should be like it's like. Like yeah, you get nerves and shit. It's like 150 people looking at you and shit. Like, mm-hmm. but then when it when once like, you settle in, my my thing is once I can make somebody laugh, once laugh. I can, once I make the audience laugh, boom, I'm free now. Bro, once you hear I'm that, free. Fr- it's crazy yeah. how once you, when you're in front of a crowd and you hear that first laughter, it's crazy how yeah. comfortable that can make you feel. Yeah. Like you know, people that are shy and you know not really crowd, which is majority of people who are yeah. like the number one fear in Americans is talking in front of a crowd. It's crazy, you know, like if I could just put this out there as a as a tip for them is if you can make one person laugh, that shit will ease your nerves so yeah. much. A hundred percent, bro. You you always start with like a little you know what I'm saying then like you want a crowd in the rack. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You, you wanna you wanna ask the crowd questions. Yeah. Who paid their taxes? Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gonna hear one motherfucker, not me. Right, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Who I, got work tomorrow? You know what I mean? Like half the hands gonna go you up. You know what I mean? Like something, something like you yeah. feel me? Bro, I um so for the job I have now, I had a panel interview with five fucking people that were interviewing me. <laughs> the executive crazy bro, the executive director, the associate executive executive director, another director. The, Just um, for the interview? For the interview, the HR director and the recruiting director. That shit would have me sick, bro. Bro, I walked in that joint, right? But you, see- You wore a suit? Yeah, I wore a suit. <laughs> bro, I, I needed- This was as soon as I moved to Charlotte, bro. I needed this fucking job. Yeah. Like, I wasn't taking no for an answer, right? I walked in, right? I sat down, the interview starts, boom, 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 boom. About 20, 30 seconds in, right? Yeah. I said probably some corny ass shit. But, I mean, I have a decent sense of humor, I think. And I made them laugh. After that, it was easy, bro. Good as good boom, as, you win. Good as good you as took. What I'm good as took. Good as took. Good as fucking took. I that'd said, be the that'd be one of the best feelings. Make somebody laugh too. Yeah, bro. for real. Um, so let me ask you, whole lot of gang shit. What's going on just <laughs> in the near future with your future endeavors, the real Markel? What's going on uh, with you? Actually, I've been you know what I mean working behind the scenes and shit. Got a couple of big features stashed away. It's gonna be on my next project. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I really ain't told nobody for real. Yeah. Um mentally trying to get back in the groove. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to get myself there. You know, I'm going through probably craziest months of my life right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't think I've ever experienced anything anywhere close to what I'm going through, but I know God got me. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So like I know. You know, no matter how hard and low it may get, because bro, I've been I've been ready to do some things, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I can't specify too much, but I've been ready to do some things over the last couple months, bro. And then, you know, just having patience and prayers and you know what I mean, consistent love and support just mm-hmm. keeps you moving, you know what I mean? So yeah. I know like in the near future, bro, it's gonna be what I'm what I'm what I'm expecting is nothing but good things. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not I'm not anticipating being lower than what I am. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I'm. I'm just ready for it to be great. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it don't rain. It don't rain and storm forever. Nah, it don't. Just like tonight, it's raining right now. But by the time the game come on, <laughs> the lights come on when it really matters. I can't wait to watch y'all niggas lose, bro. <laughs> I cannot, bro. Uh, I can't. I can't wait to make pu- sure you send me this clip. I can't wait to publish. final score. I can't wait to publish this episode. Final score: thirty to twenty-four. Packers. Yeah, I heard it here. 30 to 24. I can't wait to publish this joint. Jalen Hurts, two interceptions, one in the first quarter. I can't wait to publish this joint after we win. Ooh. I can't wait. Let's see. Um, but listen, man, on the real though, you know, uh two out of the three dead Zeppelin here right here. I'm, bro, I you know it's funny, I seen Daryl the other day. Yeah. We all gonna we all gonna make it happen one day. Yeah, bro. I was we telling him, I'm like, bro, you gotta you gotta, you know what I'm saying, come through to a joint. It's, it's it's definitely gonna happen. It's more to come. Day by day is here and we're here to stay, god damn it. But listen We out this motherfucker. But listen, man, um my brother, you know what I'm saying, ten toes. A1 since literally day numero uno, my brother right here, Markel, aka the real Markel. We came through Philly, you know what I'm saying? He 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 booked a spot for us. We right here, we shut it down, we made it happen. Great content. This is all me and my bro do, man, for yeah. real. And it's more to come. Yeah. But more importantly, thank y'all for tuning in. Because without y'all, I wouldn't be motivated to do none hey, of this shit. Let's think day by day, you heard? Shout I, out to my bro. I, I tell this nigga this shit all the time, bro. I'm so proud of you, dog. I appreciate that, bro. I'm so proud of this. This is somebody I watch like. Like, 
manifest a lot of things that he said he was gonna do, and then he went and did them. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like Dave Vaughn, that nigga, bro. Like, I wa- I'm talking about since high school, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that nigga wanted to play football, he played football. That nigga wanted to go to school in New York, he went to school in New York. That nigga wanted to graduate college, he graduated college. You know what I'm saying? That nigga wanted to move out of town, he moved out of town. Mm. That nigga wanted a good job, he went and got a good job. That nigga wanted to do a podcast, he went and did a podcast. Mm. That nigga wanted to get better with his podcast, what he did, he got better with his podcast. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, this nigga got merchandise. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is somebody, bro, like, like I tell it, bro, I consistently tell this nigga, you know what I'm saying? I don't let it go unheard, bro. I'm proud mm. of you, bro. I you know what I'm saying? That, like, I am proud of you, dog. Like, I am, yo. I, I've never got emotional on my show before. Yeah, yo. I, bro, I, like, <laughs> hey, listen, I really bro, appreciate I'm, that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about, I went and seen Dave, Dave Vaughn at school in New York. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I went to his football game in Bowie. You know what I'm saying? I fought, and I'm, I'm coming to Charlotte, nigga. Like, you know yeah. I'm coming to Charlotte. You Hold know up. what I mean? Like, Fucking, I'm doing this podcast. You know what I'm saying, like, I'm, I make sure that I make sure that I'm, I'm there for you. You know what I'm saying, you, like, you always have. We always been there for each other, man. Like, hundred percent. I remember, 100%. I remember when, I, like you said, when I was in school in New York, we both met downtown. We riding through the subway. We, we had, on the sub. <laughs> we had uptown. We hit Dyke, man. We hit the we Bronx. Had, yeah, we, we just vibing. We just mimed through the we city. You know what I'm saying, but that was an area that we both knew and was familiar with, so yeah. it was easy to make that happen. You 100%. know what I'm saying. But that type of shit has always happened. Like I said, a one since day one, ten years plus. It makes it. Easy for that type shit to happen yeah. between me, uh, me and you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Devon, Devon called me. You know what I mean? Like he in town, bro. He know he got somewhere to stay, bro. I don't get. You know what I mean? You ain't even gotta ask, nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't gotta. Are you coming out yet? You, you know, I, I got it if you need it. You feel yeah. me? Like no question. Oh, make sure you. You know what I mean? Like all of that. You no feel question. me? Even tonight, bro. You you about to hit the sub? I'm gonna have somebody pick you up off the sub. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like we. Ain't, you feel me? Yeah, no question. At all times, bro. This 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 is my fucking brother, dog. Like y'all don't understand. Like this is one of my best friends, y'all. No question. Hands down. Hey, that's that that's what I told y'all from the beginning that this episode was special. Bro. Yeah. And we made it special. We shut it down. My mother my fucking bro, brother bro. right here. I man. love you, nigga. Love you too, my dog. I and love again, you, nigga. I love y'all for tuning in. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe so that you be kept up to date on every episode. Day by Day TV, you heard? Day by Day TV on Way YouTube. Day by Day podcast on every podcast platform. Subscribe. I listen to it on Apple. Stay safe. Stay safe out this joint, you heard? Spotify for our Android users. He uses Apple. <laughs> Stay blessed. We out this mofo. We gone. Peace. One.